हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज अनूप सिंह यू आर वॉचिंग एरोटेक एडवांस यूट्यूब चैनल सो गाइज इन टूडे वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द लेक्चर नंबर थ्री रिलेटेड टू चैप्टर नंबर टू वेट एस्टिमेशन सो ऑन द लास्ट लेक्चर दैट इज लेक्चर नंबर टू वी आर सीन रिलेटेड टू चैप्टर नंबर टू वेट एस्टिमेशन वी आर डन सम पोर्शन ऑफ फ्यूल फ्रैक्शन एस्टिमेशन सो इन टूडे video we are going to discuss or we are going to cover the remaining topics of weight estimation so today is the last lecture of chapter number 2 and we are going to complete most of a uh, remaining point on lecture number 1 and lecture number 2 so without wasting much time we are going to start this lecture so guys in today lecture we are going to covered a uh, remaining topics of estimation of fuel fraction so in today lecture the first topic we are going to see that is drag puller of a typical turbo prop engine understand so uh, first we are going to see about typical turbo prop engine airplane and then we are going to see the drag puller of a typical low subsonic general aviation airplane with fixed landing gear so try the fixed landing gear means it's not a retractable landing gear it is a fixed landing gear okay so the next topic that is introduction to estimation of a brake specific fuel consumption efficiency of the propeller and thrust specific fuel consumption understand and after that we are going to see the top topic brake specific fuel consumption and efficiency propeller efficiency of typical prop piston engine airplane understand similar topic we are going to see that uh, brake specific fuel consumption and uh, propeller efficiency of a typical turbo prop airplane and then we are going to see that the only thrust specific fuel consumption of typical turbo fan engine and then we are going to see about fuel fraction for a dis descent performance landing performance and taxi performance and the last topic related to fuel fraction for a mission so this topic we are going to see in today lecture so let's start with the first topic that is drag puller of a typical turbo prop airplane so before starting this uh, uh, topic first of all i am going to clear to everyone the whatever the equation we are seen on the last lecture specially related to cd not that is a profile drag and uh, and uh, k value k is the induce drag understand so that same thing we are going to repeat in a different different category of airplane specially the airplane we are going to take in today topic that is turbo prop airplane and maybe that is a piston prop engine understand piston or a propeller engine aircraft understand so let's see the first topic here we already knows equation 3.4.2 that is a expression of a drag puller understand this is a induced drag we already know the cd formula cd is equal to cd not cd is equal to cd not plus kcl square understand kcl square everyone is aware because everyone is done the air cap performance so the first cd not that is a profile drag and then k is a for for induced drag understand so here we already know this equation and we already seen all the parameters like what is r what is tf what is s and what is m understand so we are not going to discuss in today lecture we are going to see direct topic related to what drag puller of a typical turbo prop airplane so <coughs> see here first we are going to consider some para parameter so what parameter we are going to consider in order to see the estimation of cd not see the estimation of cd not and estimation of k value okay so this is our target in our today lecture okay so different category of airplane so the first category i have shown here that is a turbo prop airplane so let's see here the first we are going to see in this uh, to understand this drag puller first take some parameters so the standard parameter for turbo prop airplane that is aspect ratio we are taken 12 lambda value we have taken 0.4 gamma 1 by 4 we are taken 0 thickness ratio we are taken 18% that is conventional airfoil we are using in the uh, airplane wing 
and mac number operating mac number we are taken 0.5 and cif value that is zero okay so this parameter we are taken okay so let's see we are going to use this value in our in the final equation this one cd not value okay so in this case we need to find out some parameter like T sif value mac m value so we need obviously there is a some quantity is required so we'll see in the last lecture the last topic i will show some other quantities is are required so this first quantity is required to find out cif value and then then we are going to find out the f tau value with the help of this expression and mac number with the help of this expression so we are substituting all the quantities what we are as assume in the first page what i have shown so we once you are going to substitute you get the value of uh, this uh, tau value and mac number understand and substitute this value in 3.4.2 you, you get a cd not value that is in the terms of wing area s this one understand that is 0.03354 s raised to this but what is s what we are going to take so you can take the typical value of turboplan in airplane the typical i am going to take the wing area that is 70 meter square see this is a variable understand wing area is variable so you can take accordingly so here i am taking the uh, 70 meter per square meter square uh, wing area in order to find out the cd not value so with the help of that you can easily got the value cd not that is 0.02 that is mostly same as the actual value what we have already predicted 0.022 understand so that is a cd not expression and cd not value now our target for induced drag that is k parameter so we already know this equation 3.4.3 on the last lecture i shown and we already know what is n what is a what is gamma what is c t by c what is m okay so i am not going to tell you what is this parameter we are going to substitute this value directly in the expression of k in order to find out what is the value of k so in this case the lambda f lambda is a function of turbo prop engine aircraft the turbo uh, turbo prop airplane so we have we already know the functions and we are substitute the value we are finally get some value in order to put the equation there is no need to go in deeply it's very simple calculation once you are going to see my this ppt thoroughly so you can easily got and consequently we getting this uh, uh, expression once we are put in on the previous equation so with the help of that you can easily find out the value related to what we need to put in equation 3.4.3 once you are going to put in 3.4. that is a, a equation of a expression of k once you are putting all the values you can get the value of k in the terms of a understand but we aspect ratio so aspect ratio we are assuming that is 12 so once you are putting the aspect ratio 12 you can get the value of k see this is a variable okay you can vary but specially you can find out typical value of turbo prop airplane that is we are taken typical value that is 12 so this is a very simple calculation so i hope so you are understand how to substitute the value and how we are going to use the use the expression generally the expression number this one the expression number 1 this one and the expression number this 2 this one 2 and expression number this 3 understand so it's with the help of this you can easily find out cd not value and k expression value so very simple so this is the equation of turbo prop engine once you are putting now we are going to see the drag polar of a typical low subsonic general aviation's airplane with fixed landing gear so this is in this case also we are going to find out or estimate the cd not value and k k value understand same thing same formula we are going to use but the val typical values of the airplane parameters are changes so what we are going to change uh, take in the subsonic general aviation airplane so we are taking the mac number operating mac number is 0.2 aspect ratio is 6 gamma value lambda value is 1 gamma 1 by 4 is 0 and thickness ratio is 0.15 and we are using the conventional airfoil so cif cif value is 0 so this is a, a typical parameters a typical values we are going to use and the value of rw is already given tf value is already given aspect erf is already given only we are going to use the expression number 1 and then expression number 2 this one and expression number 3 
understand so with the help of this you can the uh, find out mac number and tau value and substitute in the value of 3.5.4 you can get value of uh, cd not value in the terms of wing area and we are taking the wing area in subsonic general aviation airplane that is 15 meter per second so finally we get the value of cd not that is 0 0.03 that is most of similar you can find out in the general uh, general graph of uh, uh, cd not drag polar you can find out similar value in the graph also so i hope so you can understand how to estimate cd not understand how to estimate cd not value and k value very simple in the case of in the case of uh, low speed general aviation otherwise turboprop engine airplane very simple so let's see the next one in this case that to derive the k value similar we are going to use the expression of uh, mac number and the function of f lambda and then function of f lambda then after putting the value of f lambda and finally at the get to value of k understand but in this k in this value you need to know the aspect ratio understand and we are already taken the aspect ratio okay so once you are putting the aspect ratio you can get the value of k so sim, sim, similar formula we are going to use so after that we know the drag polar equations that is cd not cd is equal to cd not plus kcl square so we already know the cd not value and k value this one after that in this case aspect ratio we are taken 6 6 and uh, uh, wing area we are taken 15 meter per second substitute this all the value in the equation of 3.5.6 so you can get the drag polar equation this is called a drag polar equation guys cd is equal to cd naught plus kcl square but with the help of this drag polar equation i need to find out what is my l by d max so we already know the equation of l by d max that is 1 upon 2 under root cd naught into k so substitute value of cd naught and k you can get what is the l by d max so in this way you can find out what is the aerodynamic l by d max of the particular aircraft so i hope so you guys understand how to utilize the expression of cd naught and k and with the help of other quantities parameter and do the estimation of k and cd naught after that we are going to see the introduction to estimation of a brake specific fuel consumption efficiency of propeller and thrust specific fuel consumption understand because first we know about this parameter and then we can move for different category of aircraft so let's try what is this so we already know the earlier mentions that the attention is confined to the subsonic airplane understand we are more interested in the subsonic airplane so piston engine are used in the low subsonic airplanes that is we operating Mach number is always less than 0.3 and turbo engines turbo prop engines are used in the range of the flight Mach number is range of 0.4 to 0.7 always remember these types of questions all mostly ask in the gate exam and turbo prop engines are used in the flight Mach, uh, flight Mach number range is 0.7 to 0.9 0.9 understand so this range of the mac number we are using but what is the quantity of brake specific fuel consumption propeller efficiency and thrust specific fuel consumption so details regarding this propeller and engine aircraft is given so the value we are taking the, the this propeller efficiency and brake specific fuel consumption and thrust specific fuel consumptions depends upon the stage design our stage design process so let's see in this case for typical piston engine airplane so what is the brake specific fuel consumption and propeller efficiency of typical piston engine airplane so first know the information that propeller efficiency depends upon the pitching pitch setting understand so there is a propeller and we know there is a propeller and there is a setting there will be an angle that is called pitch angle beta understand so that is called pitch angle that depends upon how the propeller efficiency effect by the pitching setting but engine rpm power output and advance ratio where the velocity is v and n is the revolution per second of the propeller so this is term is given okay so with the help of this 
the this airplane means uh, the piston engine airplanes have fixed pitch propeller whose pitching setting could be generally to choose on the best efficiency which efficiency propeller efficiency but propeller with the two or three pitch settings would give the good efficiency good efficiency both during the takeoff and cruise condition brake specific fuel consumption of piston engines depend upon the rpm and power output this is very important and generally the brake specific fuel consumption is higher at a lower power setting and the power setting and the flight velocity are lower in loiter than in than in cruise obviously the aircraft is taking the round around the uh, some radius with the uh, with respect to radius in order to take the landing operation in that consume less power and at this stage the falling well value of the propeller efficiency and brake specific power uh, sorry brake specific fuel consumption are suggested so let's see uh, what's the value first see for fixed uh, pitch propeller so in the fixed pitch propeller the in case of loiter if it is going for loiter operation so efficiency is like typical value so guys this try to understand this is only typical value this is not a actual value so suppose in the examination is asked a typical value for fixed pitch propeller engine or variable pitch propeller engine so you can give the typical values so let's see the efficiency is 0.6 that is a typical value so brake specific power consumption that is 3 newton per kilo watt hour understand but in the case of cruise the propeller efficiency is high that is 0.8 and brake specific fuel consumption is 2.7 newton per kilo watt hour understand let's see for variable pitching pitch propellers so in the case of loiter you can find out the propeller efficiency is 0.7 and brake specific fuel consumption is 3 newton per kilo watt hour and in the case of cruise if propeller efficiency is 0.8 and brake specific fuel consumption is 2.7 kilo uh, newton per kilo what hover so you can compare in this both the cases the what is the importance of fixed pitch propeller aircraft and variable pitch air car variable pitch propeller aircraft so you can compare in the case of loiter and uh, uh, cruise what i have explained here understand so this is a comparison and value of brake specific fuel consumption and propeller efficiency of typical piston engine airplane so i hope so you guys are understand so of the typical let's see for brake specific power consumption and propeller efficiency of a typical turbo prop powered airplane so in this case we are going to see the turbo prop power airplane so this airplane is used as the medium range transport airplane medium range understand and they have modern variable pitch modern variable pitch propeller try to understand they have modern a variable pitch propeller and brake specific fuel consumption slightly slightly with increase in the engine rating with respect to the flight mach number understand older turbo prop engine had brake specific power consumption is around 3.2 to 3.5 newton per kilowatt hour and however the current engines having the brake specific fuel consumption is around 2.9 newton per kilowatt hour understand so consumption is less if you see in the current engine but in the old engine you can find out there is a range that is a higher range understand in the case of turbo prop power engine so with the help of this variable we can keep in mind that the following uh, value of the following value of which following value of propeller efficiency and specific uh, sorry brake specific fuel consumptions of a value of a calculations of fuel fractions at this stage designs that for example loiter and cruise so this one is typical value i have mentioned you can remember especially for turbo prop powered airplanes what we are seen in the last case last case is about for piston engine airplane similar you can see the comparison of loiter and cruise condition at a different mach number different flight mach number and uh, altitude also uh, and efficiency and uh, brake specific fuel consumption so this is a typical value with the help of you guys are understand how the design is important for related to airplane performance 
so let's see for a first specific fuel consumption of a typical turbo fan engine so in this case the turbo fan engine have lower thrust specific fuel consumption as lower altitude and lower mach number beside the flight altitude and mach number thrust specific fuel consumption depends on what depends on bypass ratio this is very important turbo prop engine and uh, thrust specific fuel consumption is depends upon the bypass ratio of the engine and this ratio is the ratio of mass air mass that passes through the uh, passes through by the bypass duct to the mass flow rate passes through the gas generator this is a definition of bypass ratio understand and we knows the uh, expression or equation of thrust specific fuel consumption and in this case the chord we are taken that is 0.7 bypass ratio is we have taken mu and uh, sigma is the density ratio that is rho by rho h or c level understand so this is about a thrust specific fuel consumption let's see the fuel fraction for descent and landing and taxiing operation so let's see some information not we are going to see in the depth so the home built the low speed single engine we have to take for and agriculture airplane we have to take generally flies a close to the ground understand and the value of the fuel fraction for this types of uh, flight of uh, airplane is you can find out the fuel fraction is around 0.99 understand 0.99 fuel fraction understand if you remember wn minus 1 upon wn or you can take wi minus 1 upon wi understand that is a fuel fraction and if but if you see expected the uh, other types of airplane expect uh, supersonic cruise airplane suggested value of fuel fraction is 0.98 for supersonic cruise airplane the descent value would be little bit longer so suggested value is 0.937 so guys this is a typical value so always remember you can find out one mark question in the gate examination or otherwise you are designing aircraft this value is very important playing role let's see for fuel fraction for the mission we already seen this all the types of mission uh, there is no need to go further but here this is a last topic so let's try to understand after calculating the fuel fraction in various phase of the mission what we have seen on the last lecture the lecture number 2 the weight of the airplane we already seen wn by w not understand wn by w not that is a final weight upon initial weight we already know so in this case the fuel fraction we are that is 1 minus wn by w not and generally in this case allowance is 6% provided for the trapped fuel that we are not throwing out the engine or not we are going to utilizing during the operation thus the fuel fraction the final weight upon initial weight this one 1.06 up upon so this is a generalized equation because we are not utilizing this 6% of the fuel understand that is a trapped fuel so guys this is a fuel fraction for the mission so that is the last topic what we have covered and and uh, this is the last lecture of chapter number 2 that is a few weight weight estimation i hope so you guys are understand the weight estimation whatever i have, I have deliver related to chapter number 2 little is more and more deep not a little deep is more and more deep you can utilize this content for the master program also btech level this is a more than sufficient and you can utilize this lecture for master that is also more than sufficient so most of i am covering in each and every lecture of aircraft design in more and more detail understand so i hope so you guys are utilizing this material and try to complete this uh, chapters also and i hope so you guys are seen my last video that is lecture number 2 related to chapter number 2 weight estimation okay guys so thank you so much for watching my video thank you